Gabrielle Union has been a Hollywood name for more than a decade, going back to 10 Things I Hate About You. And she has a lot going on right now, including the new movie, Good Deeds, where she plays Tyler Perry's fiance. Okay, Heidi, can we please not talk about your kids? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You know what? I'm sorry, I'm a jerk. And it's just that all we ever talk about these days are your kids. I know, I'm sorry, this is, it's a girls' night out. It's, it's, we're here for Mark. No kids, no husbands, no future husbands. In fact, I am turning this phone off. Thank you. So how late are we gonna be out tonight? As late as we wanna be. Okay, hello. Better call the nanny, tell her, no. And Gabrielle Union is here for Morning Coffee. Thanks so much for being with us, Gabrielle. Oh, thanks for having me. So this movie, great film yeah. coming out. Tyler Perry, what was it like working with him a second time around? He really does it all. He is absolutely amazing. Um, and I think, I think because you, you guys have seen him here, but his generosity of spirit mm -hmm. is unparalleled. Um, he, he's one of those great guys who will resurrect a career and give so many new people opportunities to work and he's just an absolute pleasure and creates such a family kind of atmosphere on set and he feeds you, which is nice, which <laughs> is rare. Does everyone have nicknames on set? No nicknames. I mean, for me, I don't. You can call me whatever you want as long as you spell my name right on the check. <laughs> What's but, uh, your favorite nickname? <laughs> well, my family calls me Nikki. Really? Yeah. Nikki. Nikki. Yeah. That's interesting. Is that based off of anything? From my middle, my middle name is Monique. And uh, from birth, a lot of people could not say Gabrielle, so it became Moniki and then Nikki. So, to, I mean, my whole family calls me Nikki. Very cute. Yeah. So in this movie, you're not the other woman. You're the. I would be the fiance. <laughs> you would be the fiance. I would be the fiance. And how does that work? How does that work for you? Um, well, it, it, you know, it kind of starts out where we're sort of like those great people on paper. You know, we're the resume people. Perfect job, mm -hmm. perfect family, great friends. And when we come together, it should be magic. And it's not quite there. We've kind of gotten very monotonous. It's a bit boring. And we sort of reach a crossroads. Like, do we move ahead with our wedding as planned? Or do we kind of reevaluate and maybe figure out, figure out what our own hopes and dreams and aspirations are and follow those? So that's, and, and enter Tandy Newton's head. Right. Uh, off the screen, you have sort of a resume couple thing going on in your own life with Dwayne Wade. What's that like? You know, he's great. He's, um, he's such a sweet, thoughtful person. Um, perfect example. You know, he sends me a great, very thoughtful, amazing Valentine's Day gift. And I'm, I'm thinking that's it. I'm happy. I'm super grateful. And then the next day, he sends me two dozen roses. So you never Love think on, of, on February. 15th. You never think of sweet and and soft and and uh, and romantic in such a big package. No. Well, I don't want to start any trouble at home, but does, uh -oh. does he know that you have a little insanity going? <laughs> he, he is very aware of my insanity. I I am obsessed with Jeremy Lin. I'm obsessed with his story. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, it, for everyone who's ever been counted out or un underestimated, he is the perfect example of. You know, when people say, oh, you're just lucky. But that's really just when um, opportunity and preparedness come together. And when he got that opportunity, this man was so prepared. Um, once he got up off the couch that he was staying on, he was very prepared. How do you prepare for the opportunities that come your way? You know what? I, um, I work with a coach. Um, I work in the gym. <laughs> you know, <laughs> A lot. A lot. You know, with high definition, you always have to kind of stay ready. You know, they, they say stay ready so you don't have to get ready. That's kind of my... My motto. So I, I always try to keep sharp. I always try to stay in shape. Um, but I, part of what we do is, is an examination of, of human nature and, and, um, and people. So I try to be as social as possible. Um, you know, some people kind of become hermits, and I'm the ab absolute opposite. I want to be around as many people as possible and kind of take in, you know, different people's um, personalities and essence. Mm. One last question. Mm -hmm. If you could have coffee with anybody, who would it be? Ooh, with any of my girlfriends. Oh, I, I have that. great friends. I have absolutely great girlfriends. So, Sanaa Lathan, Essence Adkins, Robin Lee, um, Regina Hall. I, coffee, oh, or more like margaritas. Early morning <laughs> margaritas. With Early girls. morning margaritas. We love it. <laughs> yeah. That's a great place to be when you want to have coffee with the people you have coffee with <laughs> yeah, exactly. more than anybody. Yeah. Gabrielle Union, thanks so much for being with us. Yeah, we really appreciate it.